Hey guys, today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash jumbled. They have over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Jumbled, your favorite podcast about nothing. I'm Zach. I'm Joe. How's it going, man? It's going well. The FTS is sort of FTS y today. It man. is very much so. Um, no, no space heaters going. No. Nope. Just it's probably about maybe sixty, sixty-five. Yeah. If I had to re- I'd do a range of temperature in the uh, FTS. Uh huh. By by the way, if you're new here. Um, the FTS is the Frozen Tundra Studios. Um, that's the nickname we've given this yeah. place. If you are new here, if you are welcome. new, yeah, welcome. Um, put but your, I'm, put I'm, your robe on. Yep, yeah, take uh, put your house shoes on. Um, put you know, up. even if you're at work, tell your boss, hey, fuck off. I'm listening to Jumbled. Yeah. It'll work well for you. Mm-hmm. I've gotten all kinds of uh, people writing in saying, hey. Told my boss to fuck off because I was listening to Jumbled. Worked out well for me. And they said, fair enough. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, no, but I, you know, I came prepared. Did you? Wearing my, my nice jacket, as you see. For, you are. Um, Your red hooded sweatshirt. Yes. Um, I feel like there's a dip, cartoon. Dip, dip. I feel like there's, yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. Um, I feel like there's a cartoon character that wears a red jacket. Fry? From uh, Planet uh, Futurama. Futurama. Planet. I was thinking of his uh, ship, mm-hmm. which is called Something Planet. I was watching that earlier today. What really? a great show! Yeah, it was the one where where they uh, they had the stem cells. I guess I guess everybody died, and they had to recreate everybody or something. I gotta say, I didn't like that show. You know, that like, much. Really? I feel like I thought if, it was. I thought it was okay. Yeah. I just wasn't that into it, you know? Yeah. You like the meme more than anything. Just where Fry's just staring. Mm-hmm. His eyes kind of partially. Yeah. Where yeah. Just kinda, mm. You send that to me all the time. I don't know. Yeah. That is my go-to meme. Yeah. Hey, by the way, I want to thank you for this um, this great rabbit food that I've yeah. been eating hey, man. for the past. Free is free. <laughs> don't complain. Hey, man. No, we have these little pieces of chocolate that Joe was given from somebody else. Yeah. So I was at my book club, mm-hmm. and um, that's a great. That's how every great story starts, by the way. So I was at my book club, <laughs> and Marsha. Let me tell you. Oh my gosh, her interpretation. <laughs> um, so at the end of it, um, they brought out this uh, box of goods that they cleared out of their cabinets that were expired, but um, they weren't going to eat. Mm-hmm. And, you know, expiration dates are kind of loosey-goosey, especially on dried goods mm-hmm. like chocolate. Sure. And it doesn't have any dairy in it. Yeah. It's gluten-free. Mm-hmm. It's soy-free. Mm-hmm. And it's taste and fun-free. <laughs> no. <laughs> but they gave me this chocolate, and it looks very much like rabbit food. It does. Like, seriously. It looks... It is... Um, I'm sure... I mean, it has chocolate in it. Yeah. It's, it is chocolate. I know I tasted grass. <laughs> And but it has, you know, if you ever open up an old chocolate bar where it's like kind of dusty and white looking, yeah, that's what this stuff is. And yeah. I think it's gotten worse as it's uh, as the uh, as it's been exposed to air. I think pretty soon it's just gonna like fade away. <laughs> a strong, strong gust is gonna just push it out. I'm going to take a picture for everybody because everybody cares about what our chocolate looks like. Yeah. I'll post it. I'll post it up it on looks Instagram. Like a, little, like a little dog treat. Yeah. It, you know what? It really does. It's almost. It looks a, like a beef bouillon cube. <laughs> <laughs> it sort of does, Except man. Except it's uh, like half a cylinder. Yeah. Which I don't know what you'd call that object. Mm, I'm sure there's a technical name mm-hmm. for it. I do not know it, though. No. No. Hey, but so. Thank you. Uh, you know, we say our podcast is about nothing, but is it really nothing? It's something. I mean, it's about something, but it's not anything specific. That's what mm-hmm. I mean when I say that. Like the first time I said yeah. your favorite podcast about nothing is like mm-hmm. we don't have like a a set theme mm-hmm. other than just being like generally wrong about most things. Yeah. Oh, so your podcast about wrong things. Oh, okay. Yeah. We could just say that. Yeah. 
your, oh, okay. your podcast about your favorite podcast uh, about semi confident people telling unknown lies. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, like alternative alternative truths. Hey, listen, I mean, if you got a better idea for what we should say at the start of this show, you go ahead and throw it out, man. I'm open to suggestions. That just came off the top of my is. head. Here it is. Okay. I got it. All right. Welcome to the Zach and Joe Bro Show. Mm-hmm. Faux show. The show about shows. The show. Show. You got to change our artwork, dude. Mm-hmm. It's the Zach and Joe Bro Show. Welcome to the podcast about uh, the color green. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to talk about the color mm-hmm. green. Our favorite things that are green. Oh gosh, man! This aside g- from this the NFL football teams, this bowl. Oh man, I. You know what? Mm-hmm. Don't even want to get into the Packers Christmas right now. Tree trees. Uh, this bowl full of uh, full of rabbit food. By the way, Yield. even it sounds like rabbit food. Yield, Yield bowl. This is how this is how I would call my herd of rabbits that I. Yeah, you a cat herder. Remember that cat herder, a uh, rabbit herder? I'm a rabbit herder, man. My uh, my daughter wants to get a rabbit, and I'm like... Don't do it, bro. Nah. You've got one too many animals. Oh, well, I've already put the kibosh on, and I said, no. Nah, uh-huh, yeah. We're sure. good. Yeah, you're not... Get- no, you're definitely not getting a rabbit. And I said that to my wife before we got um, the, cat, the cat, and then yeah. we got the cat. Um, Which one? Both? No. Mm. Just the second one. Mm. Um, actually... I think the cat was sort of like a. I almost broke down. She was. She sent me a picture of a dog. Yeah, and we've oh, tried this before. Many, you can have. You can have two dogs. That's yeah. not too many. <laughs> we've we've tried the two dog thing before, um, and we had to get rid of the other dog because it was it was just too much. Like the dog was digging in our backyard and jumping fences. The thing about it is, we've talked about it before. My dog will just jump the fence and come mm-hmm. to the front door and wait for you to let let her in. But he's not going to like <clears throat> rob the neighbors like your other one did. <laughs> yeah, like came back with like DVDs and a PlayStation <laughs> Four and like. Well, you know, I taught him well. <laughs> what you been up to, man? Um, you know, I've been uh, texting my wife for the last twenty seconds. Um, she is in Manhattan. She had to get the fuck away from you. She had to leave. (laughs) So, no, she's got a court case there. So, that's what she's doing. But what I've been up to lately, um, speaking of my wife, yesterday was our one-year wedding anniversary. Hey. Though we've been together like nine years. Hey, man. What? Congratulations, dude. (laughs) Why are you being so aggressive about it? Why are you so angry? Congratulations. No, I'm just kidding. Seriously. I called you yesterday. You did. Congratulate you over that. the over the phone, yeah. and you uh, you don't like when I leave you long messages, but I left no. you a long message. You did it was very uh, as I am in this podcast, very uh, scatterbrained and jumbled. Saying, saying, a, saying a little with a lot. Yes. Yeah. Um, I could have just said, "Hey, man, call me back when you want. Happy anniversary." So I did call you back, and to make you angry, I kept you on the phone way too long. See, the thing the thing you don't know is I love talking to you. <laughs> You just love talking to me? I love it. You just call me every once in a while. I'm like, hey, man, how's it going? <laughs> just love talking to you. <laughs> call me back. No, that's why we can do a podcast together. Oh. Because I, I don't dislike the sound of your voice. Oh, man. If I hated you, I'd say, hey, man, this is fucking done. I can't stand your goddamn voice anymore. No. But, yeah, no, you called me, and then uh, you were outlining the details of your day and then your night. Yep. Your impending night, then, mm-hmm. um, and you said you wanted me to stick around and yeah. and get your opinions on the rest mm-hmm. of the evening, like sure. meal choices, drinks, you after, know, after dinner drinks. Did you get my email that I sent you with all of the suggestions in it? Yeah, um, but we really weren't looking to go to Chippendales, so that was like the first four hours of your itinerary. So I just kind of skipped it. I mean, you're not looking to have a good time. Is that what this is? Um, um, I just thought I had chocolate in my mouth, uh-huh. but it's leftover orange, uh, seeds, mandarin orange seeds, mm-hmm. and I crunched down on them. And you, uh, <laughs> no, it was the, uh, oh, we hadn't talked about this. This was something, this is a way far back thing. Are you sure we didn't talk about it? I think we, I know what you're going to talk about. I don't think we have talked about it. Maybe we did. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to bring it up again. It wasn't the chocolate you were eating. It was the little caps on your tires. Yeah, so I had I had uh, um, I am an avid sunflower seed eater. Mm-hmm. Like I 
always have an open bag of sunflower seeds. If I don't, Who something's doesn't? wrong with the universe. Who doesn't? All the way, yeah. my go-to these days, dill. I just love, or like pickle, pickle I'm flavor. Not, I'm not a pickle guy, you know? You know? I, you know, I love pickles, mm-hmm. but I was like, I don't know how I feel about pickle-flavored sunflower seeds, mm-hmm. and I just absolutely love them. So yeah, that's all I get. I like a spicy, like like some kind of like spicy seeds. Some stuff. jalapeno. Mm. We have like bacon ones, and like you get all sorts of kinds. Tabasco. Mm-hmm. Got lots and lots of those. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, so you know, I'm always walking around popping seeds in my mouth, and mm-hmm. I had some in my pocket, and I was popping them in. I was airing up the tires. I had the uh, I had the four uh, tire, the valve caps in my mm-hmm. hand, and then, um, you know, just doing what I normally do, popping seeds in my mouth. I, I pop those in my mouth, and then <laughs> instantly realized that <laughs> this, like, rubbery, <laughs> street-worn taste was in my mouth. Why does this taste like asphalt? <laughs> oh, gosh. That's, oh, mm. bad batch. <laughs> <laughs> These have gone. Mm, I'll still eat them. Who, make, who makes sunflower seeds? Uh, What's the brand? My brand? Uh-huh. Well, so for... Uh, I mean, I know sunflowers make the seeds. Yeah, sunflowers. Yeah. Right. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, I like spits. Mm. S-P-I-T-Z. See, I don't like anything that ends with a Z. No? No. I don't like anything that starts with a Z. I don't like boys don't to like, men. You don't, you don't like the alphabet? No. Hate it. That's why I do my alphabet. You don't like razzmatazz? No, I'm talking about like anything you don't like that's jazz. Uh, hey, dude, listen, listen the fuck on, okay? That's a that's a phrase that I just made up. Listen the fuck on, okay? Hey, heed my words. <laughs> I don't like anything that substitutes an s at the end of a word for a z. Mm. That's okay. what I meant. So, like boys to men. And why you no, gotta have boys. a why you gotta have a Roman numeral in your name? Yeah. Why? Why can't it just be? Hey, man. If you don't get it, you never will. What, it's what artistry is about. All right, man. Well, you know, I guess I don't. I guess I don't get it, man. I never I'm gonna, will. I'm gonna. <laughs> never mind. I'm going to do something. Okay. Not right now. Oh. Yeah. Okay. You will. Um, <laughs> you just wait. Make sure you capture it in some way, shape, or form. For I mean, it's not happening tonight. Oh. Okay. But some, it's going to be a it, long play, sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, the long con. Yeah, you won't see it coming. And then when you do, you'll say, hmm, you got me good. All your Slack messages are going to end with Zs. <laughs> and I'm going to do like a uh, <laughs> uh, like a macro or something on your computer, so every time you, That'd be the worst. <laughs> you end a word with an S, it changes to a Z. And every time you type your name, a Z changes to an S, so it's sack. <laughs> I haven't I haven't dealt too much with macros. We won't get into that. And I'm not talking health macros either. <laughs> and I haven't dealt with those either, yeah. but Excel. Um You know what I'm excited for? Hmm. The Walking Dead. Dude, I know. I was I'm, just thinking like three weeks ago, it's never going to get here and then it's here. It's tonight, right? It's tonight. It's in eight minutes. Yeah, sorry, you're gonna miss so it. How much you got it how, set to record we, though, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. Um you might want to do that. I think I do. Yeah. Um, but so what we need to do is uh, fit an hour into the next seven and a half minutes. Yeah, I think that's possible. Yeah. So let's. How much faster do we need to talk? We have have seven, you? We have. We need to talk. We have forty fifty minutes. Let's do. Let's do mental math because so this always turns out well. Seven times. It's not, mm, yep. Carry the fuck. <laughs> My wife did At something like that. At least eight times as fast as we're talking now. Yeah. Um, I have not practiced talking quickly, but my my wife did something like that where she was like, she asked me a question that required me to do some pretty simple math, but it w- it wasn't like, it was like simple if I was doing it on paper, but it was like multiplying like three digit numbers by, to, by three digit numbers. Mm-hmm. And so it was like, uh, I started doing it, and I was like, uh, math. That's how I just ended it. Uh, the you answer, take you take, take 450 it. times 642 and uh, math. And uh, math. <laughs> That's how I ended it. What made me think one time I was, like, I was like bragging to my mom about how I'm really good at like, if someone like gives me like <laughs> lots of numbers, I can add them up. And I was serious. Sure. Like, there. I mean, I felt very confident about that. Like, yeah. and, Like, I can... 
Um, if you're just doing like some addition, like I can, if you're like, hey, do this plus this plus this, I can in my mind kind of see that mm -hmm. multiplication, not so much, but like mm -hmm. doing like five or six numbers and such. So it's like, okay. And these weren't like, uh, what's 400 plus 500? It was like some, you know, odd numbers. Yeah. And uh, she's like, oh, okay. So um, what's this plus this plus plus? And she had like, her, like a calculator out or something like that. And I was like, okay. And I was like, and gave her the number. She's like, that's wrong. <laughs> just crushed you're like was it really wrong though really? maybe your calculator is wrong yeah did you have <laughs> did you did you press clear did you press the c or did you press the ac yeah because you got to do both and you got to like press it several times you, you got to cover up the solar panel let it reset yeah yeah you have to uh flush the the memory mm -hmm. on your graphing calculator by the way, still have it. Never used it since uh, calculator since school. No. I think I used. Desk. I think I used it at Graceland for a class. Dude, the new ones. Okay, so like you know how they're still making are calculators. Yes, you know how they're stupid expensive, like a hundred bucks for yeah. the TI eighty four yeah. plus. Yeah. Now they have like a silver edition, where they don't like you recharge it. Like it's recharging. Oh, it's and got it's an got internal like a, battery. Yeah, and it's like backlit. That's pretty cool. And it's uh, it's like colored. And Unnecessary, like, but cool. Yeah, yeah. Way too expensive. I don't understand how you how the components in there. Gosh, it's got to be like such a friggin' markup, like seventy yeah. percent. I always like how they're. And I'm jumping off topic. Uh, they are far too expensive. The the calculators. Mm -hmm. But I always I, I like, like that's not really jumping off topic. It's not I'm commenting on what we we're it's saying. It's not, but. Um, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump off topic and like, why four batteries? That's it. Okay. I uh, I don't I don't have an answer for that. Um, just carry some extras, you know. Yeah. I like I think it's funny how people are always so willing to be doing anything other than math that they found a way to hack a hack a calculator to put, put a game games on, on it. it. Yeah. Because I remember, like, in class, I'd get my cable out, and somebody mm -hmm. else had a graphing calculator and be like, all right, give me that game, yeah. you know? And you just transfer all the shit over, and That's it's crazy. like, now Three I'm, times. now, uh, uh, yeah, let me calculate that, and I'm playing, like, Brick Breaker, Dude, you know? Um, yeah, so, like, students are so good at, like, hiding, not working. Like, there, there's really, Probably like, really hard now. There is a too. talent in not doing your work. Mm-hmm. Like, you can convincingly, like, convincingly, like, chose, like, not do work. Sure. And, like, the other day, someone was like, oh, yeah, my, I'm not connected to the internet. And I looked over their screen, and it had, like, a, it had, like, that, uh, like, 404 screen or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, okay. And he's sitting there, and he's still just looking at that screen, but he's, like, doing the uh, whole D-pad thing. I'm like, what are you doing? And I go over there, and, like, the bottom right-hand corner, there's a little game going on. <laughs> On that, and the, and it's like, but it's not a separate window. Yeah. Like that is like a, like someone set up that, that website to where it looks like yeah. it's not That's working, funny. but he's in the, like playing a little game. Wow. A little simple game. Wow. What are you I, doing? I, 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 gosh, it's gotta be so much different in school yeah. nowadays. Cause I mean, not like dating myself or anything, but mm -hmm. like, and I think it's just like. Like, obviously, laptops were available and stuff uh -huh. back when I was in school. But, like, the school, di the district didn't give out laptops oh, to anybody. No. Yeah, here. all my students have laptops. So it's like, yeah. And oh. I know that's a that's a thing that happens in school now. So that's probably an extra an yeah. extra level. And you have, like, multiple desktops and you have, like, corners and stuff where you can just, like, with, like, barely a touch, hide your, uh, hide your screen. Yeah. Hide your screen. Hide your hide wives. <laughs> Yeah, man. So it's crazy. It's got to be pretty nuts. Um, what else? Yeah, I mean, like, I feel like I used to, like, hide, like, my calculator behind a book or, like, hide, like, a magazine, mm -hmm. like, doing that stuff. Mm -hmm. Nah, man. You got, you got all sorts of stuff. I <laughs> – this is sort of embarrassing. Oh, but, please tell. Well, I think please everybody – I think everybody – it's not embarrassing in, like, to a high schooler who was talking to other high schoolers or middle schooler or whatever, but – I used to know, and I still know it, but, you know, the whole, um, the whole, you could turn your calculator upside down and it read, you know, boobs, boobs or whatever. Yeah. Uh, there was a, <laughs> there was a, uh, word problem you could do. It was like, 
I think it was like Pamela Pamela Lee Anderson wore a size sixty nine bra, which was mm-hmm. too 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 big. She went down to fifty first street to meet Doctor X. He gave her eight pills, which left her. He turned it over. It says boobless. <laughs> there you go, man. That's the title of this podcast. <laughs> boobless. boobless. That's my. That's one of my favorite um, singers. Boobless. Michael Boobless. Yeah, Michael Boobless. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh gosh, what did he sing? Uh, he sang that Russian unicorn song, right? Yeah. Duh. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Oh, uh, man. Uh, I went to Springfield, Missouri yesterday. Did you? Yeah, you knew that. Don't act like you're surprised or anything. You went to Springfield, Missouri yesterday? It's not like we talked or anything before this. No, dude. As our um, listeners know, you come in silent. <laughs> we walk down to the basement, click record, and well, then that's when we talk. And that's f- the only hour we, that we, we ever talk. You forgot the knowing nod that we give each other. Yes. It's, it's, a, it's a form of communication, but, you know, slight. Anyway... Went down to Springfield, Missouri. My oldest daughter's uh, in the gifted program, whatever, mm-hmm. for the school district. So what she, kind of superpowers does she have? Uh, she can levitate um, herself and other items. Oh She's got tele- telekinesis, and yeah. yeah, that's pretty sweet. Telekinesis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's pretty, that's pretty awesome. Sweet. Yeah. Um. So, um, we went down there. She was doing I don't just know a- any kinesis though that I would tell, like. What's that actor's name? Greg Kinese? Sure. I I don't know who I would tell a Kinese to. Yeah. Um, I just walk up to somebody and I'm like, hey, Kinese. <laughs> I think that means nothing. But I'm mm. sure if you said it in a certain way, people would be like, what does that mean? Mm-hmm. You know? Kinesis. Yeah. Hey, man. Kinese. Kinesis. Kinesis. Yep. Um... <clears throat> no, but I went down to Springfield. My daughter was in a one-day class thing mm-hmm. we signed her up for. So she went to her class. And then me and my and the little one were down there. My wife had to work her second job. And so um, we went her to... Her second job? Yeah. Is that the... That's where she works in the uh, river market where she she's a basket weaving... Hey, man. Basket weaving juggler. Like she'll... Mm-hmm. Juggle the baskets and weave them at the same time. No, she juggles the basket weavers. Oh, that's what it was. Oh, okay, she's so a she basket weaving. Specific. She's the basket weaver okay. juggler. Okay. Yeah, like so you those, said. So those juggler, those basket weavers are being mm-hmm. juggled. Yeah, but they're really also hard. weaving. Okay, it's really hard to keep track of those people. It is just it is juggle all that. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, so she had to work at the bar. Mm, yes, yeah, she does. Um, for now until. Mm-hmm. She doesn't want to do it anymore, and then she'll stop doing it. But mm-hmm. um, she was she had to work that night. She didn't know if she's going to be back in time if we were going to be back in time. So she just decided to stay home. So we went down. And me and the little one went to the Springfield Zoo. Hey, the little one. The little one. Me and the little one. Me and the little one. Um, little lass. Yes. No, she. Uh, she's silly. You're but like, we. You're like, damn it, Joe, shut up. <laughs> Tell the story. I just can't get it out, and I've sort of given up already. That's no, what she said. we went. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking kill you. That was, that was I'm a good one. Kill you. What are you looking at? None. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought you were inspecting. You're looking at something. We you hearing know. something? No. All right. Anyway, we went to the zoo. I think it's called like the Dickerson Zoo or something like that in Springfield, <laughs> Dick. Um, in Springfield, Missouri. So we went there. Actually, really cheap to get in because it's a small. It's Springfield, you know. Uh, the zoo was also pretty small, but we went in like twenty bucks for both of us. Mm-hmm. We got in, and then pretty much right away, when you walk in, um, are peacocks the, attack you. They're <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> they're everywhere, dude. I have a peacock down here, by the way. You do. Mm-hmm. I don't know why you're keeping exotic uh, Asian birds in your basement. In your basement, but you are, and that's mm-hmm. that's cool. Yeah. Would you name it? Have you named? What I name what? Your 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 peafowl that My you peafowl? have down here. Um, Edward. Edward. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, that's a sketchy sort of name. Yeah, you know. Are you team Edward or are you team Jacob? Yeah, I was going to say Wolf. I don't remember his name. Uh, I have never seen the movies. Yeah. So I wanted to tell you a story. I'm about... gonna, I want to get through this goddamn story. <laughs> so pretty much right when you walk in 
in the zoo. There's the howler monkeys. Yeah. Fuck off, Joe. They're the howler monkeys. Yeah. Okay. And there's two of them. Howler? But- I hardly know her. <laughs> Did it, folks. You've been messaging me for weeks on end how to get Zach off of the mic. All you got to do is continuously diverge his tactics. Hey, is this expensive? <laughs> No, bro, but that's a collectible circa 2000. That's a Millennium Falcon. Whoops. <laughs> Just drop it. I have a, uh, so this is my, you know, my man cave. The, the, um, so anyway, I was at the studios. Springfield Zoo. <laughs> and I just have random uh, toys that I used to I used to have. I used to have a lot of uh, Ninja Turtles, but I, I think I gave those to Ben. I think I've talked about it before. I don't have those anymore, and I, I wish uh, I had a couple. Actually... I do have a bunch left. Mm-hmm. I didn't give him all of them. I have all my four originals. I gave him some that like shot pizzas out. I have mm. some where you, you pull a red string through and they say like, Cowabunga, dude. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Sweet. All right, guys. Let's take a second to talk about our sponsor for today's podcast, Audible. Obviously, Audible is the premier uh, provider of digital audiobooks. So, you know, you're picking a good one. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, they are offering you a free 30-day trial. Wait, how much is it? Uh, free. Uh, yeah, but how much do I have to pay? You got, you got, a, you, ha- you have lint in your pocket? No, I clean my clothes. You got a coin in your pocket? Do you, what nope. do you have in your pocket? I've got a toothpick. You know what? Take the toothpick. Hold on to it, man, because it's free. Oh my god! You don't have to pay a toothpick. Do dude. I have to give my credit card? No, you don't. Oh my gosh! You don't have to do anything. That's incredible. Um, actually, I'm not sure about the uh, the credit card part. <laughs> yeah, you probably have to check in that. Yeah, I think you have to start it, a Prime account. Yeah, you know, they want to know that. Yeah, I think you probably got to. Yeah, you pro- you probably do. Anyway, well, you know it's it's free. It's free for 30 days. Uh, risk free, obviously. If yeah. you if by the end of your 30 days you don't want to re up, hey, you're making a bad decision. Just- Shake those hands off, walk away. You're making a bad decision, but you have the ability to just cancel that thing. If you want. Don't do it, though. Mm-hmm. Um, so you get the free 30-day trial, and on top of that, Joe, you get a free audiobook. Oh, my god, Making your day great. So I thought that I would recommend, uh, and I think you have one as well, um, a book that you can listen to for the month of October. I'm going to be listening to I'm Fine and Other Lies, written and narrated by Whitney Cummings. Whitney Cummings is uh, a comedian. You might have seen uh, she's had several sitcoms. She's just sort of showing you uh, the sort of li- – uh, she's giving you a behind-the-scenes sort of peek into her life. And uh, just, you know, it says the lifetimes, mistakes, and crippling codependence of uh, being a comedian, producer, director, actress, and writer. So if you ever had any uh, any desire to know what that's all like – uh, give that a listen. It's a uh, nine hours and ten minutes of listening time. So you're getting your you're getting your non money's worth, Joe. <laughs> what do you have to to offer? I have a book by Trevor Noah, and it is called Born a Crime: Stories from a South African Childhood, and it really talks just about that. And it's narrated by Noah Trevor, and he is the host. Trevor of, Noah, though, you know. What did I say? Noah Trevor. I meant Mr. Noah, Mr. Uh, Noah, tr- comma Trevor. Oh, like okay. In, like it, in the uh, phone book. Yeah. 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 So it tells the stories about growing up in um, really the uh, the apartheid of South Africa. So um, his perspective on that and his experience. Sweet. All right. So those are your suggestions. Obviously, Audible has so much more to offer you guys. So if you want to head over to audibletrial.com slash jumbled and check out what they have to offer, uh, that would be great. So, Joe, what is that? One more time. Audibletrial.com slash jumbled. Enjoy. So, um you immediately walk in and there are howler monkeys. They're howler monkeys. That's a cool zoo. So the Walking Dead is starting in five. <laughs> God, dude, yeah. I hate you so much right now. And I'm oh. usually okay just to roll with it. Yeah, but you are you just, just bombarding yeah. my story. You're, right uh, you're, you're, you're kind of angry. I'll let you get through it. No, I'm, it's funny. It'll, it? it'll make for a good for a good podcast, but. Right now, it's sort he of frustrating. Just, he just really squeezed my arm really hard. So, <laughs> <laughs> so as to say, just hey, reach across and just like, fuck off. Can I even work on your grip strength? Yeah, man. I got one of those little uh, grip oh. things with the springs. Yeah. Um, Looks like a little. Yeah. Yeah. 
So there are howler monkeys. One is, you know, the female is like a blonde. She's like, <laughs> she like uh, she's, what would you say? She's like a ten. She's like long legs <laughs> and like. No. <laughs> so she gets up out of the pool, and the way she howls, man. <laughs> let me tell you, no, um, but. You know, the male was just, he was, a, he was just a black howler monkey. The other one was sort of like a blondish looking, like wow, a tan. Dude, <laughs> dude fuck <laughs> off, so, man. I'm just. You're so racist. Is black not a color anymore? <laughs> God damn it, Joe. <laughs> Shit, dude. Oh, I'm okay. so much So fun. the female's laying on this platform on her back with her legs all like just sort of tucked up fetal mm-hmm. position. And the male just comes up, just jumps up on the platform, just throws one of the legs over. So now she's yeah. just like, sort of like spread eagle. Yeah. And then he just goes to town on it. Right there in front of like, Wait, and goes, goes to, ta- to town, face in general oh, in area. area. So yeah. how far away was he from this, uh, so you approach it, and he, in this, uh, this male walks up to it. How far away was he? From me? No, from, uh, like in between? the, the, uh, the other monkey, the female monkey. Mm. I mean, it, I think there was like another platform. He Wait, was she over really from, a bl- was it the monkey blonde? Yeah, it was like a like a tan. Oh, okay, just like a different color okay. coloring for the. But they're both okay, monkeys. I'm not a uh, monkeyologist, so I don't really know. That's a that's a thing. Mm-hmm. Um, Jane was. Goodall, famous monkeyologist. <laughs> um, yes, but uh, but yeah, no, he just uh, you know, cunnilingus right in front of me and, and my so daughter. Like, how far away was he? Like that he just was like, all right, let's do this. Like he just got up and walked he, like ten paces. I mean, it did he roll at all? Within ten feet. Okay, maybe he spotted a uh, little bug he needed to clean off, and that was maybe. his excuse. Maybe, that but was it was in. But it was it was weird because obviously my three year old has no idea what's happening. Mm-hmm. But I'm so just she, like yeah. I. She's just standing there, and I think she was probably just looking around at other things. But I just like I couldn't walk away. I was <laughs> like, I'm gonna see this through and see if something happens. This is way better than National Geographic, <laughs> man. Um, yeah, so that was my, that was, was that was the fun, the most fun experience at the zoo. Of course you saw other things. You didn't this, leave right after that? Dude, you gotta leave right after the high point. and left. I'm like, all right, now, we were, we were we there, go. we were there far too long. Yeah. Like, with the Kansas City Zoo, it's big enough where you can like go and ma- maybe you don't get to see all the animals in never one day. Been. Oh, well, it's, it's pretty nice. Mm-hmm. I, I've never seen the entire zoo in one day. But with the Springfield Zoo, it's small enough where it was like we got through it all, and we still had like three hours before we had to go get, uh, go get my oldest. So we took second lap. Yeah, yeah, second lap, second lap. Just look at things, hmm. and Lydia was having a good time. So were there any? Were, <clears throat> was there a um, a penguin exhibit? There wasn't. There wasn't. No. A, there wasn't a penguin exhibit. There, mm. you know, there weren't. Uh, was there a lion? There was. That's there were standard. two lions. There was a, a male, a male and a female. There were three giraffes. I mm-hmm. think two hippopotamuses. But the hippopotamuses were in uh, an exhibit that seemed pretty small. They typically are. Yeah. It was sort of that seems that way. It, well, all the exhibits were sort of like. Hmm. Like, Do you know what you call a group of um, of hippopotamus? Hmm. I feel like it's um like it's um a soup. A soup? Mm-hmm. No. A soup of hippopotamus. It's a prong. Mm. A prong of hippopotamus? Mm-hmm. I don't believe I was that. Looking it up the other day. I don't believe that one bit. I was reading an exposition on um hippopotamus. Mm-hmm. They only have four teeth. That's, that's not it. that's not true. Mm-hmm. Two on top, two on bottom. That's not true. Yep. Is it? Yep. And they... You're making all this up. They yawn, and I can... they yawn mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. on average 40 times a day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm trying... Hold on. Look at me for a second. Tell me another hippo fact. Tell you another hippo fact? Another Let me one. read. I mean, it was a pretty long article. Okay. Um, you got to look at me when you say it, though. Oh, okay. Um, let me think of one. You keep all your thoughts mm. in the top right of your brain. I am. That's where you're looking. I'm left brained. Mm. Left brained. <laughs> brained. <laughs> Jesus. I am. Uh, you're. I'm, a, I'm left brained. You're a teacher, right? <laughs> you got a degree in English, right? Hey, man. <laughs> Words are tough sometimes. Um, no, they um, they mate for life. The same same one, unless their mate dies. Yep. 
They are, uh, they're called the, uh, the what is so- it again? What, what the is- soccer players of the water? Cause they, they'll find a, uh, a rock hmm. on the bottom and mm-hmm. they'll kick it around mm-hmm. between mm-hmm. each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't believe a God. You don't believe what that? You're saying right now. They keep score. They'll go up to the beach and they will drag one mm-hmm. of their, uh, Four teeth in there mm-hmm. to make mm-hmm. a little hash mark. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Man, what an interesting article, dude. Yeah, the um, the person who uh, wrote it studied them for um, about an hour and found all that out. Hmm. I, um, I don't believe that at all. Um, I should. We also, what else do we see at the zoo? What's a big draw? What do you, what do you like to see at a zoo? What do I like to see at a zoo? Yeah. Um, I am a fan of monkeys. They had they had a bunch of other monkeys. than the howlers. You saw other ones. I saw yeah. There were a lot of uh, little uh, chimpanzees. You know they didn't have an ape exhibit. They didn't have like gorillas or orangutans or anything like mm-hmm. that. They had um, what are they called? Little ca- like capuchin monkeys or um, sure. I uh, just the smaller. Yeah, like have you seen those little dwarf ones? Yeah, little tiny ones. Yeah, those like, are like the cutest little things. You just want to like in hold South them. America and like the Amazon yeah. rainforest, like those kinds of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they had those dudes. Um, it's so crazy. What I like about monkeys is like you can just like stare at them and see such human like features. Oh yeah, that's true. It's crazy. You know what else is funny, dude? Did you see my post on Facebook? Mm-mm. Oh, dude, I'm about to blow your mind. Speaking of monkeys, I forgot. I don't know how I forgot. Did all... you hold a monkey? No, I didn't. No, I held a monkey. I don't know how I forgot all about this Actually until held this a chimpanzee. Have you? Yeah. Nice. Um, I remember seeing the pictures from um from your trip to Nicaragua. Uh, Nicaragua, yeah. No, but I walked up to this exhibit. Mm-hmm. Um, and I can't. I don't know exactly what the species of of ape is, mm-hmm. but most of them were napping. Except for one who was so needed, like, up and comb. running around. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. Um, <clears throat> he was running around. I went and sort of sat on the ledge by the window, and then this happened. <laughs> <laughs> you just got in your. You took a selfie with him. I took a selfie with him. He hopped up oh, on the see, ledge right, right next to me, dude. He like jumped up on the ledge on the other side of the glass, and then he was. Huh. I think it's because of my beard, honestly. Yeah. So he thought you were. Uh... Yeah, you thought you were also thought I was also some sort of uh, ancestor. Yeah, which you well, were, which I am. You share yeah. ancestors with sure the apes. Yes, but but he jumped That's right up there. Looking guy. Yeah, man, he jumped right up, and uh, uh, I don't know, it might be a might be a she, but you know what they call those? What those are uh, black and white acorn face monkeys it does <laughs> doesn't his face look like an acorn like the whole outline of it except for the little stem up top dude if i put an acorn over this monkey's face it would, it would look yeah you know like yeah, please like go to edit that and then just put a big <laughs> put an acorn over it <laughs> there's our instagram yeah. art for the week dude yeah. um <clears throat> no but that was that was pretty cool um yeah. i'm a look I, I like this i wish uh just go sometime before it gets too cold. They're still they're open through October, I think, and then once it gets into November, that's when they shut it down mm. until spring. So you know, I think the KC Zoo is is still open for a bit, and it's pretty nice. I don't and know I think where it's, at. it's down by um, you know where we saw Jason Mraz at, at that coffee shop. No. We looked through the window, like is that Jason Mraz? Is that Jason Mraz? Holy uh, shit! No, that's just do with a fedora. Oh. And the ukulele. <laughs> Strangely enough, he's singing some Jason Mraz um, song. The, no, but it was uh, Starlight. Starlight Amphitheater. It's it's in that area. Okay. Yeah. But where's Starlight? It is like if you take uh, 470, mm. you know, take 470 south, and then it'll mm-hmm. you'll be able to get off there. Or is it 435? Actually, it's 435. Get on 435 south. Get off on yeah. We're like 35 north. We're like in. And get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? What are you doing here? <laughs> the 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 Missourians. Ooh, the Missourians. That would be that'd be like, what are you doing here? <laughs> what are you doing here, city boy? <laughs> uh, yeah. I know what that. That was Larry the Cable Guy. Actually, <laughs> I don't know if you caught that. I've been working on that yeah. impression for a bit. That's weird. 
Yeah, if you just rip the sleeves off, whatever you're wearing. <clears throat> no, here, I'm going to do it again. So you, yeah. Close your eyes. Okay, hold on. All right. Okay, I'm ready. Well, what are you doing here? Zach? Oh, man. Yeah, I, 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 was, I thought you had left. I was I calling left. for you. I left for a minute. it sounded like Larry the Cable Guy was You know running. what? I felt like I needed to step my game yeah. up after last week's walk-in. You know, it felt like it was really good. You know, I did a Christopher walk-in yeah. last week. Um, and I wanted to do something this week that was going to show that up. Yeah. And I've been working on it. Because it's really hard to do a Christopher while you're walking. Yeah. Like you did a Christopher walking. Yeah. Like if you do a Larry the Cable Guy walking. I just do, I do it while I'm doing cable, the, just working yeah. as a cable guy. Here's my, here's my Larry the Cable Guy. All right. You want me to close my eyes? Yeah. That's pretty funny right there. Oh my God. Dude. Was that good? Yeah. Here, let me try it again. Okay. That's pretty funny right there. Holy shit. Have yeah. you have you been practicing? I have. Yeah. Every morning. Oh, wow. 20 minutes. Wow. I take 20 minutes off, and then I do it the rest of the day. Wow. Yeah. Every morning. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't get anything done at work other than my Larry <laughs> the Cable Guy impression. <laughs> You're like, uh, can't take you today, kids. Nope. Uh, can't. Get out of here. Got bit, I got a lot of Larry the Cable Guy business I got to attend to. Mm-hmm. Do you know he his, he actually does not have that accent? Really? It's like it's That's like a character, a character that he's it's made like, up. Uh, Stephen Colbert's uh, his Republican yeah. thing that he did yeah. on the the Colbert Report mm-hmm. or the Colbert Report. You know, so you remember how we were talking about Lamb Before Time mm-hmm. and uh, the Sarah? We we're yeah. like, that doesn't make sense for a name. Mm-hmm. Do you know why they called her Sarah? Try Sarah Tops. <clears throat> Triceratops. Holy shit, dude! Yeah. You just blew my mind. Yeah, I, 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 um, like I looked it up the other day. And yeah. I was like, I was like looking up the show or something, mm-hmm. and uh, like, yeah, why do they call it? I think it was like a Reddit. Yeah, and it's uh, like, yeah, Triceratops. I was like, duh. That's why they called the the pterodactyl dude. That's why they called him Dak. <laughs> Dak. <laughs> Dak, get over here. What? Is yeah. that my name? That's not my name. It's Dull. It's not Dak. It's Tull, man. What did I tell you? I'm not going by Dak anymore. I'm going by Pater, dude. <laughs> what did I tell you? The name's Ice. What's that from? Uh, little Giants. Uh, no. Mm. What's up, Hollywood? I feel like you're doing an impression of... Um... Hollywood. I nice, got nothing. Nice sneakers. Oh, is that from? Oh, that's from uh, that fucking uh, Hocus Pocus. Nailed it. Yeah. High five. Good one. By the way, we Love don't we don't have any uh, factual information from Johnny for this mm-hmm. week. We, yeah. Oh, is we that, will that is include po- it, Johnny. That is Hocus Pocus. You know what? We'll let it slide. Because. No, what I was gonna say. Oh. Is we don't have that information. Last week I put five big point, big ones on it being Thackeray Binks. Uh, it was. Don't know if you, yeah, didn't know if you looked it up. No. I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, I don't expect any points, uh, but I'm not losing five. No. And you thought it was Zachary. <laughs> I was so Nikki and I were watching it the other day, like watching from the beginning, mm-hmm. and uh, I forgot it's like one of the first scenes, and it's like Thackeray. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> I even forgot about it. As soon as they said it, said Thackeray. I'm like, oh, man. I was so sure, dude. Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's Thackeray. I'm sure it's Thackeray. No one's named Thackeray. And uh, that dude's name is you know, Thackeray. You it's, know, it's always the worst when it's like, you, I was doing a lot of like, I was being like yeah. very like. Vibrato, man. Very you vibrato like about some... it. But I, I just knew. I just knew it was like, I was so like, sure that I was like, I'm going to give. Five big ones. If there's ever been anybody 110% confident, you were 112. Yeah. You know, they say to always give uh, 110%. Yeah. Fake which, make by it. the way, impossible. Yeah, can't, you can't, give, can't do that. Uh, well, I can. Oh. Yeah. How do you how do you do that? How do you give more than the than 100? How, you know, are, are you just, a superhuman? So what I do is I, I go to 100% mm-hmm. and I just go 10% more. So if I'm like, you know, I'm yeah. going like is like 100%, you know, to the paint, I'm going to go 10% more. That's not how you eat an orange. <laughs> you need to eat it like a like a uh, banana. What if I would have just went You don't take a bite out. You don't take out a take a bite out of an orange like you, you don't eat the rind? The rind? You don't eat the rind? No. 
I put it in T. All right, man. It's good. Um, speaking of the land before time. Thackeray Beans. Oh, and speaking of speaking of Thackeray Beans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Hocus Pocus. Um, instead of the guy that played Max. So, uh, well, I guess not instead. Hollywood. Yeah. Hollywood. Um, of course, are- by the way, of course his name is Max. Yeah. Like, that's a very stereotypical yeah. 90s yeah. California okay. name. Or yeah. Zach. Or Zach. Yeah. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio tried out for that part. Did he? And I'm not joking about that. I feel like I feel like he, if he would have done that movie, uh-huh. he would have faded into obscurity like yeah. that guy has. Well, you know what? He, he instead of doing that movie, he did um, what's eating Gilbert Grape? Grape. You know what? I've never. Is that it? Yeah. <clears throat> what's I've he never Gilbert? seen that movie. I have neither. I hear good things. I yes. hear he should. That should have been his first um, Oscar. They got Oscar Meyer. Yeah, but he didn't. Um, Hot dog. So, um, but, I, but he wasn't going to be, so the director of, I forgot who sent him over there. They sent him there to audition just to show, um, like, like that kind of personality that they should have in that role. Okay. But I don't think the guy that they got is exactly like a Leo, you know? Sure. Like he's not, he like what else has he done? That's what I'm saying. I, yeah. That guy's probably he's faded into obscurity. Into obscurity. Yeah. Um, but I just made all that up. Did you? No. Oh, did I? okay. I don't know. Maybe you did. Maybe I'll never know. Book. That's my hocus pocus. Oh, oh okay. I thought you just. Of, uh, I thought you just scream sang book. Yeah. Scream sang book. book. That's my um. <clears throat> what's her name? Not Bet. Bet Midler. It is Bet Midler, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Bet. I know Little Bet, Bet and I know Sarah Jessica, but I don't know that other comedian's name. I don't recall her name either, but she's my favorite. Of the three? Yeah. Because she kind of talks like, like, yeah, kind of talks like Bill Murray hey. and uh, Caddyshack. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's the goof of the group. She is. Um, what? You checking your stocks over there on your phone? What are you doing there? Yeah, I'm up. I'm way <laughs> yeah. up, man. It's how good, are those, it's how good are those to be penny me. stocks going? It's good to be me. I invested a whole lot in... Uh, you know, you I invested a lot in uh, United Airlines. Oh, nice! And uh, they're um, they're, you know, they're just beating people up all over the place. So I'm doing really good. You actually. know, you should uh, look at um, cassettes and tape decks, mm-hmm. and um, as well as incandescents. I got a shit ton in floppy disks, dude. <laughs> yeah, so Dang much dude. in floppy disks. I pretty much put, I pretty much took out a second mortgage just to put it on. Really? Yeah, just to put it on floppy mm. disks. Because I just know that the return's going to be so good. Yeah. You know? Was say, that... People say, like, you know, stick with, like, a like a Nike or, you know, no, like, like a McDonald's or something like that. Those are things. You know? Sometimes the, the the better option is to go with something that you know is always going to be around, like a floppy disk. You so know? when you went to your broker mm-hmm. and had him do all the transactions, mm-hmm. when you got... When you went home, was that, like, a hard drive just... Ruminating over those things to tell your wife when you got there. Well, guys, we're on all social media at Jumble. <laughs> we, there's no way to go oh, on man. from that. No, we. Did you we, like that? That was that was awesome, dude. That was a hard drive. Folks, I am out of here. <laughs> Just Thank leaving. You very much. I'm gonna talk about Vontae's Perfect for. Uh... <laughs> you know who Vontae's Perfect is? That's an actual name. That's, not... <laughs> that's a name. Is that one of those names that uh, from the Key and Peele show? No, that's... Vontae is perfect. <laughs> it's funny because he is an NFL player. Is he? But it sounds like it sounds like a name like like you always see those posts on Facebook where it's like, take the first letter of your first name <laughs> yeah. and and, it, and then eventually you end up with something it like Vontae's. Like... <laughs> so it sounds like um, Vontae owns a Burfick. Is it Burfick? Like... Perfect, yeah, but with a B on it. So it sounds like, but it's B U R F I C T. I so think. it sounds like Vante owns a perfect, whatever that is. Yeah, Vante's perfect. Yeah, um, he. I <laughs> My took a baby screenshot. Is just so perfect. <laughs> I took a screenshot of it on the way over here because he's always getting in in some trouble. He's a linebacker for the Bengals, but uh, they're playing the Steelers today. And apparently mm-hmm. he uh, he kicked a dude in the helmet after making a tackle. 
What? Yeah. He kicked a dude? He kicked a dude. Like, he got like up he and just kicked him in the head. Like kicked... I haven't seen the replay of it, but that's the Did the he take, like, ESPN three steps back that... and two steps over and then ran ran out? <laughs> yeah, field goal. Yeah. It was good, actually. <laughs> it was it was very good. That's, no, but that's ridiculous. His, his name is Vontae's Perfect. And I know that name because we played, the we being the Packers, we played him last year. Mm-hmm. You're on the team? Uh, I am. You used uh, to be. I, you I am on the practice, 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 mm-hmm. practice squad. You're on the couch so I was squad. like, yeah, they call me in just to like um, lift up the lift the morals of the team. Like, like they bring you out here, like grab a grab a cooler. All right, Zach, run this football and uh, see how long, see how far you can get. It really <laughs> makes it really helps the linebackers with it's their, like uh, it's their like morale. yeah, it's like if the it's it's like on a greyhound track where they have a rabbit that yeah. goes around and you're the, the rabbit. Gra- I'm the rabbit, <laughs> but you're like, but it can't but, be like a rabbit versus. But I'm greyhound. a slow rabbit. Yeah. I'm I'm like yeah. I'm like a rabbit with three legs mm-hmm. versus um, that's pretty generous two, <laughs> two two legs and it's like the back left and the front right. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's just the front right, the back the back right, and uh, just going in circles. Yeah, that's it. That's I don't it. How that would work with just like the left? It wouldn't. Right. There's your answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but the pack, the Packers played him last year and he got, he hit some, he, he's a, he's a dirty player. Like mm-hmm. if you're a stereotypical NFL dirty player, I, you know, you, they shower after every match. So it's like, yeah. you know, why is he dirty? Yeah. But, I mean, you wouldn't think he was a dirty player, you know, just kicking people in the helmet. Yeah. What was the, he, he's not on, I think he's on the Dolphins now. He was mm-hmm. on, he was on the Lions. I can't remember his name right now. The, the defensive. Hmm. I think Barry, he's Barry Bonds. No, Barry Bonds. Mm-hmm. He didn't play. For, oh, no, okay. he's he's a um, Michael Phelps. That's it. Oh, he, was it? Yes, oh, okay. first. I didn't think first so. try. No, but he was like a defensive lineman, I think. Mm-hmm. And I remember he Xavier stomped. Murray. He, nope, he stomped on Aaron Rodgers' arm or something one year. Michael Vick. <laughs> no, that, he he fought dogs. Well, no, I feel like. Wait, did Michael Vick have a brother that played? Uh, I don't I think. Like, I feel like Vic stomped on somebody too, like right on their hamstring or something like that. Michael Vick probably did it. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. He he um he's one of those players that has just a lot of gusto. You know, he's got yeah. a lot of a lot of fire. You know, he came out game. pretty hot. Like he would have been a good quarterback if it wasn't for um those off all that dog fighting. He all did. that dog fighting. It's so funny how dog fighting ruined him. But you know, like. Someone like what's his name, uh, who killed somebody? Not Aaron Hernandez. Uh, Ray Lewis. Uh, Ray Lewis. He killed, killed a man. He killed a man, and he played for like thirteen plus seasons. Aaron Is Hernandez did, huh? No, he he. I think a couple years ago retired. Uh, but he. Uh, I've heard a really bad joke about Aaron Hernandez the other day. Please I'm not gonna, No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share it with you later. All our listeners are crying right now, Joe. Well, just Google Aaron Hernandez, Joe. <laughs> There's only one. There's only one. Yeah. This probably has to do with his demise in prison. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Moving on. He yeah. killed a man, too. <laughs> he did. Uh, I think two. What Did Maybe. he get convicted for two? I don't know. I know he. it was just the one they were, but I think there might have been more in question. Dude, it's just know, why, had... like, you have so much money. It's true. It doesn't make sense, but you know they did an autopsy on the guy, and he had like stage four CT. Yeah, which is nuts. Chronic I mean, like, traumatic encephal encephalo encephalo pathies. I don't know. I can't say it. Snuffle. That's, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That's what it means. Um, it's just crazy, man. How I mean, you think about some of the. I mean these. I mean, you can potentially be playing since you were like. Eight years old, ten years old, yeah, and then you're and it's, like, co- it's full contact yeah. from an early age, and you you play for twelve, fifteen years, and yeah. you just and you know it wasn't always it wasn't until recently that they had the whole head to head thing. Like before, it's it's like I'm gonna, I mean, we're gonna butt heads like we're like sure, like all of know. the like uh, pl- like linemen. You had a lot of linemen yeah. who there. Do you know the guy? I can't remember his name right now. I read an article about him this week. The guy who played Sloth from the Goonies, Mm -hmm. he was a football player. Yeah. And he had a pretty, like, traumatic sort of life 
up until he got to that point. I think shortly after filming and releasing Goonies, he he died. Yeah. <clears throat> but he he's like big into drug use and stuff like that. But you wonder like if that dude would have made it all the way until he's 80 something. Yeah. Would he be cooped out of his mind too, you know, yeah. like you, you really start to wonder about those things. Uh what what was his name? He played for the Chargers. I have no idea. Um You're talking about the same guy? No. You're talking about LT. No. I'm not talking about LT. Um that's the only player I've ever known to ever play no, for the Chargers. Uh, He's the only uh, player. Oh, no. Oh, what's his name? It's, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Uh, tip of the tongue. Tip of the tip tongue, of the, the teeth, and the lips. Um, I was just listening to... Uh, Sal. Junior Sal? Yeah. yeah. Um, he went crazy. But yeah. they, after autopsy, they revealed yeah. that he also had CT. Yeah. I mean, and he was like, like one of the first ones that they... Mm-hmm. When it became... When it was starting to become an issue. Yeah. Well, even, I mean, within like the last 10 years, you're seeing, at least I've noticed, I don't know, it's just because I haven't watched football for more than, you know, the 50 years that it's been, mm-hmm. but like, um, players that are retiring early, you know, we were just talking about the Barbers, mm-hmm. like Tiki, I think Tiki retired before Rondé, mm. um, but I mean, it's, I can't sm- it's smart, I mean, it's crazy that like, get your money and run, dude. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's like, um. I mean, Especially if I mean, you're if you're in a contact position where yeah. it's like you're you're a receiver, mm-hmm. you know you're putting yourself in harm's way. Like um, I always talk about the Packers because what they what I know, but like Devonte Adams took a head hit two weeks ago, mm-hmm. and he's back on the field now. Yeah, like he's past concussion protocol. He's like they're like you're good, but mm-hmm. you got to know that that probably did a whole lot of damage that's yeah. going to sur- that's I mean, going to last you break for your a while. ankle you sit out and your ankle heals if yeah. you have a concussion i mean that's like a like a permanent injury i mean you're going to recover from it it's some inflammation and mm-hmm. some other thing but like bruising but like depending on the severity of the concussion too there can be like uh you're at a higher risk of mm-hmm. of getting another concussion or I mean, just you look know at, um, neurological disorders muhammad or- ali like him just mm-hmm. getting punched in the face I was for just, a long time. I was talking about that this week too with That's, some coworkers. You got to think that, you know, having <clears throat> like he went against he went against George Foreman. I mean the yeah. the the Thrilla in Manila. You know, mm-hmm. like that was a boxing. Like yeah. he did the the whole rope a dope thing. That's where it sort of came where he came up with it. Who's but, the Thrilla in Manila? That's George Foreman. That was that the was, name of the oh, boxing the, oh, match. The box it was yeah. the Thrilla in Manila because it oh, was okay. in. Uh, South Africa? It wasn't the... Uh, Manila? It wasn't the gorilla in Manila? Because, you know, he did the uh, the George Foreman grill. The grill in Manila. <laughs> or were you thinking I was talking about gorilla? I was thinking the gorilla, <laughs> yeah. but I was like, what? I don't get No. The, you know what? The gorilla. The gorilla in Manila mm-hmm. might be the name of the podcast, too. I got two really good yeah? ones now. Okay. I forget what the first one was. Yeah. I'll remember it in post. Gotcha. But, um, but yeah, man. Hey, do you know what a, um, have you ever been called a dingling? Hey, dingling. You ever been called that? Yeah. Do you know that's a toy? And it's not what you think it is. It is a, uh, it is a, like a tin toy from the 60s. A dingling, huh? A dingling, yeah. That's weird. Yeah. Huh. I, uh, I wouldn't have called that. They look like, um, little robots and they kind of, walk a little bit and their mm-hmm. arms are up in the air too and you kind of flip them over and they walk that way too and there are a few different ones and there are vehicles and there's like a whole song i'll show you a commercial later i call my children dingbats <laughs> like yeah. i don't call them yeah i don't call them dinglings but like yeah yeah like uh what's a dingbat is that just like a, a well-used bat it's got a lot of dings in it yeah you know i don't know where it came from i also call my other child stinky pete but <laughs> but my kids not my, neither of my kids are boys so it doesn't really make much sense my naming, you know, yeah. I'm I'm rethinking all of my nicknames that I've given them. Yeah, um, I have to change it up, man. I, ni- I can do better. I sometimes call my cat worthless, and that's, um, that's a good nickname, though. I also call him the worst thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> I don't know if that will ever translate over to my children. I probably should never. Do no, that you kids. definitely shouldn't call your kids the worst thing that ever happened oh, okay. to me until they like. You can do that jokingly. Before they really remember things, yeah, yeah, like like, like when you're seven or eight up mm-hmm. till then, mm-hmm. yeah, because I don't remember anything before ten. 
Yeah, last week I called my daughter an ass hat. She's like, <laughs> she's not 10 yet, you know? Yeah. It's like, whatever, who mm-hmm. cares? And she said, Dad, it's as shat. <laughs> yeah, she's Say really right. smart. Yeah. She she's really, she's really smart. You can only really call your your child uh, worst things ever happened to me if they've just stabbed you and you're like <laughs> holding it while it's in your rib cage. And you look over at them and you say, "You're the worst thing that's ever happened to me." You know what? And you punch them. I have faith in my children, but I sometimes you ever just have like a weird like in the middle of the day, almost sort of like really dark thought. Yes. I have these thoughts sometimes, like, that in the middle of the night, my daughter's just going to come into my room and stab me. Mm. Like, are you, are I know you like she planting wouldn't. planting seeds of evil in her no. that this might happen? No, but, like, you hear about, like, kids who are just, like, yeah, you know, or, like, a serial killer. There was a serial killer on a, like, a, on the match, the uh, match game, whatever that was, you know, uh, uh, contestant one, what would you, where would you take me on a date or whatever? You'd say I would there take was, you to the woods and murder you? Yeah, well. <clears throat> she chose him and he did it? I mean, no. Like, well, she chose him. This guy, they didn't do a lot of background checks back in the 70s. <laughs> Imagine that. You didn't have credit scores really back then. Yeah. You really see the guy yeah. What's going on. Imagine that. But he got, on, I can't remember what his name was, but he got onto the match game. and. Factory. His name was Thackeray, and um, she said, like, what's what's your favorite time of the day? And he said, the night. And she said, why the night? He's like, that's the only time. He's like, that doesn't make any sense, number one. That's the only time. <laughs> what? No. But it's like, once you figure out that dude's a serial killer, and he did most of his killing at night, Creepy. makes a lot of sense. Hmm. Um, but she did pick him. And, but she never went on a date with him. Like, backstage, she got a little bit of creepy vibes from him. So she said, nah, I'm good. Mm-hmm. And so he killed her. No, he killed somebody else Ooh. after appearing on the show, and then he finally got caught. But it's apparently he had killed, he says, between 50 and 100 people. But not all of wow. those Not all of those cases have as, been confirmed. That's not that much. Not as many as... What are you up to now? <laughs> Uh, not as many as I've done. <laughs> Serious. I have a problem. I hope you don't, man, because this podcast is going to be boring as shit. I, um, I'm like Dexter. Mm-hmm. I have a laboratory. Mm. Yeah, that's it. You know, I don't want to stray too far from Vontae's perfect <laughs> because I want to get back to what I was saying about that. He... It's unfortunate that he's a dirty player mm-hmm. because he's, so good. he's got a great name. Like, imagine if he was just a just a, a stellar linebacker, yeah. like top top of the league linebacker. Every time he lays a hit on somebody, they go, "That was a perfect hit." Or like, if he's like a coach or something, or maybe like maybe that's what he can do mm-hmm. after his NFL career has ended. He can release some tapes, like some some self teaching, like. How to be the perfect player, you know? Like no, just ideas for it. Yeah. Just ideas. You start a clothing line. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He could. Pretty good. It'd be perfect, dude. I saw Blade Runner. How was it? It was good. Sweet. Then I saw Blade Runner 2049. How was that? It was good. I heard it was good. I gave um, it two goods up. I, I heard it didn't, it wasn't doing so hot in the I don't know why. It's really box good. Office. It is really good. And it's very, um, man, it's like just these, like, it's, it pays uh, homage to the first one and, mm-hmm. like, has these, like, these sweeping, like, landscape scenes where it's it's really cool. Who's in it again? Um, Harrison Ford. I already love it. Ryan uh, Baby Duck. Gosling. Yep. yep. And that's the those are the only two I know. He should really change his name to Ryan Baby Duck. Ryan Baby Duck. If he's not, I don't know what the fuck he's doing with his with his career because it's pretty it's pretty nuts. Um, mm-hmm. I'll have to see that. It's uh, it sounds like a really like a really stellar, um, mm-hmm. stellar cast. So, yeah. did you hear they're uh, they're going to be making a Han Solo movie, like a movie about like Just a Han a- Solo, like before? Yeah. Yep, I knew that. That'll be that'll be pretty cool. Yeah, good story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just eating an orange and making a oh, small okay. talk. Hey, so um, I wanted to tell you a uh, a news story I heard. Mm-hmm. 
it was a um so this guy his name's Cleveland Willis and he was uh he is was that is that the the last name of Cleveland from <laughs> Yep, Cleveland Willis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um no, so he was robbing a KFC and he used to work there. So he comes in dressed in all so black. So it, it was an inside job. It was an inside job. Okay. He used to work there, mm-hmm. and uh, he comes in, uh, ski mask, wearing all black, and um, there was something about him that these workers there recognized about him, whether it was through the mask or his voice or something, and they said, <laughs> one of the persons said, Cleveland, is that you? And what do you think he responded with? Uh, probably, yeah. What, what, um, what... Might he say um, unknowingly incriminating himself accidentally if he was kind of denying um, being Cleveland? Uh, he'd probably say, uh, "What is this Family Guy?" I would say, "Zach, Zach, is that you? Is is it Zach? Is this <laughs> Zach?" He didn't say Zach. I mean, he didn't say that. He said, "Is it me?" No, it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> So this guy who's robbing KFC and someone's like, Cleveland, is that you? No, it's not me. <laughs> what an idiot. Dummy. Yeah. Oh, my god. I saw on Reddit the other day. That's so Cracked funny. me up. I'm like, what? Well, I mean, like, go to go to another KFC or go to some other place or just don't rob. Yeah, that's, that's, my, that's, that's my, my thing, thing is, like, you shouldn't go somewhere where somebody might know you where you're doing committing yeah. the 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 felony, you know. Yeah. Um, and I'm not even uh, I'm not even somebody who would even think of doing something like yeah. that. But it's like well, you know, I'm thinking of like I mean, you're talking about earlier like having dark thought. Like I think I could rob someplace pretty pretty easily. You think so? Yeah. Like what? Like, like where? Like I think I could like rob a rural bank. You think you could? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I don't know, man. Money, money is. I wouldn't want to rob. Like I'd be robbing for goods. I'd be wanting to get mm-hmm. away with goods rather than the money. Because like Robin Hood, you you give it to charity. Yeah, for, you would rob for good. Yes. No, I'd be wanting to take actual physical items out of a mm-hmm. store because, like post its, post it notes. Yeah, and, uh, just a shit ton of post its. Like thumbtacks. Yeah, wide out. So mostly just going to like office, office supply. Depot. Yeah, just I could knock off an office depot for sure. <laughs> um, no, but like th- that's the thing about like money is like it's it's traceable. You mm-hmm. know, like yeah, you know they they keep track of all their bills. You so put it's it like under a, a piece of white paper. Uh, yeah, and you just draw over. Especially it. a bank. Traceable. Especially a bank. You know, yeah. so I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to do like I would never do it anyway. But like mm-hmm. if I were going to pick somewhere to to steal from it'd be like it'd be like a small town best buy mm. like at closing know, time you mean like an actual best buy or like in a small town and they have a best buy-esque because mm-hmm. i'm thinking of like a little town of like, yeah like the, the last circuit city <laughs> like the last remaining circuit city you pull over like is that circuit city <laughs> holy shit that is I'm there's robbing that place there's one old dude still in there he's you just try to, you try to run out with a, like a 500 pound tube tv like oh <laughs> Yes, this isn't working out. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to yeah. sell this for twenty five dollars like, in a tra- steak dinner on on a uh, fucking Craigslist. You run out, and it's a you you grab the first stereo, this first iHome, and you start running out. And you look down, and you're like, oh, this is a uh, it's this a forty is a 20, pin connector. This is a forty pin connector. And you just you bring it back, and be like, sorry guys, what I don't the fuck want this. could I do with this? <laughs> you bring it back in. Uh, can I return this? <laughs> Didn't you just run out that? Nope. Right. Sure didn't. <laughs> Leave it on the ground. Um, yeah. Uh, like I said, we don't physically right now have any kind of facts to go off of mm-hmm. from Johnny. But I'm assuming he's going to send us some facts yeah. before I before we release. So this is Fact Checking with Johnny. I'll slow it down for you guys, but you uh, weren't really wrong at all. 
I have been drinking a lot of coffee recently, and I did record that in the morning when I had just finished my first extra large Tim Hortons double double, um, which is the most classic Canadian drink ever, <clears throat> next to just pure maple syrup, obviously, but that's just a given. Anyways, the facts from episode 33. Great name of the episode, by the way. Um, very intriguing, and I was just waiting for that to come up in conversation. So, uh, great job. Uh, I'm looking forward to future titles. Uh, so, you guys were right. Hart did write Barracuda, but I would just never question anything Zach says when it comes to music because, well, as we've tested, the guy's brain is a musical vault. Um, LeBron James. So looking up his pure salary. So this is just salary from, from the teams that he played with. Um, since 2003, when he joined the NBA, he's earned a total of just over $200 million over the past 14 seasons. His current salary is 30.96 US dollars a year, um, which has grown significantly from the, you know, his first season 2003 to 2004, uh, where he was only making 4 million a year. Um, I still find it shocking that he struggles to, uh, you know, to pay for Spotify or Netflix or, or whatever, but hey, good on him. He's a businessman. Uh, so, you know, who are we to judge? We don't know his life. He's got Bentleys to pay for. Um, Thackeray Banks, Zach loved the gamble on this. I was really hoping you were wrong just because of, you know, the excitement that it would have, um, ensued, but, uh, you were right. Thackeray Banks is a real character. It's not Zachary Banks. So, um, you're going to get that point that, uh, that you boldly went for. Um, good on you. Uh, top visited websites. So looking at Yelp. Um, so I looked at a couple lists, um, one a Wikipedia one, one a Google one, which obviously may have been skewed, uh, but the results seem to be pretty consistent. So the top sites are Google number one, YouTube number two, Facebook number three. Um, out of the 150 listed, uh, Yelp wasn't even on that list. So some notable websites that have more views um, than Yelp, um, X and XX, Google Vietnam, RedTube, so obviously you know, the porn ones are way up there. And the one that I thought that was kind of weird was Adobe, um, was up there in about like the 125th mark. Um, but then thinking about it, it was like, well, people are always trying to find a way to get their products for free because they're so flip and expensive. So, uh, it makes sense that they are, you know, one of the most frequently visited. Plus they're always doing updates. Maybe that's part of the scam. Just always doing updates to get their, get their views up there. Um, anyway, so the points, so Joe sitting tidy at 15, um, Zach on the gamble, uh, going up to 15, all tied up. Um, I know you guys are wondering what's going to happen. Don't worry. I am working on something and it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I promise we'll discuss it at some point. Um, oh, and side note, yes, big game hunting. I wanted to talk to you guys about big game hunting, especially overseas, um, as a hunter, um, you know, and someone who's really supportive of conservation efforts. I think it's, it's a great conversation to have. Zach kind of touched base on it a little bit. Um, but I think there's more to that world than people understand. Um, and it'd be really cool to have a conversation about it. Anyways, that's the facts for uh, episode 33. Enjoy. Johnny, man, I can't believe you went that hard on us, man. Yeah. Um, you must think you have some just kind of divine right because it's your birthday today. It is your birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, um, Johnny. When we're, we're recording, not not uh, Wednesday, but the, the Sunday before. Yeah, as of right now, it's his birthday. As of Wednesday, it will be his birthday plus three. Yeah, yep. Um, did you hear the part where he called me the winner? No. He I just must, uh, he went I ahead and skipped. He went ahead and and oh, you did the the fifteen second. You I, must like I skip fifteen it. seconds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no man, he he claimed me the victor mm. um, overall. So you know it's a tough break for you, but you know you'll rebound and uh, often do. They call me Dennis Rodman. I don't think he was known for rebounds, was he, or just like saves? 
Was he known for rebounds or just like saves? I know I always see like I'm looking just super inquisitively. My head's going back and forth. Is that, <laughs> oh, he's not. It's like a chicken kind of wobble back and forth. Oh, he's not. No, no, no. He, I know he had hops, so he, he probably did get get a good share of rebounds. But he liked, I always he liked pale ales. Mm-hmm. I always remember him. I don't I, hops. Yeah, wasn't hops. Listen, oh hops. hops. Okay, yeah. that's very hoppy. Yes, word association. Um, yeah, but I um I, just I always on the spur of the moment about. Spurs, Dennis Rodman. yeah, Dennis Rodman. He what? started with the Spurs. Oh. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Okay, hmm. yeah, that. Sorry, I'm kind of a bully sometimes. I just talk over you about Dennis Rodman. That was really that was a South spirit. Korea. Was really, <laughs> that was really a North, uh, North Korea Jong Un moment of me. North Korea, North Korea. Purple hair. <laughs> wedding, I told I dress. I told um, I told my daughter I was speaking of Dennis Rodman. I told her I was going to go as uh, speaking of Dennis Rodman, my daughter. I told her I told her I was going to go as um, I told her I was going I was going to go as the worm for Halloween. She's like, "Oh, I'll be the apple," and I was uh-huh. like, "I was like, no, I'm, I'm going to be Dennis Rodman." <laughs> Is that what they she's call like, it? "Yeah, the worm." Okay, so we're gonna split. So apparently, I didn't know that he was he was famous for rebounds, mm. and you didn't know he was called the Worm. Yeah. So there we go. Actually, you know what? I knew it. Wait, yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Yep. They call him the old Worm. <laughs> there he goes worming out of that. Nope. There he goes not the old Worm. There he goes just use the Worm moistly squirming across the ground. Oh, is gosh, that, moist. Is that what he used to do at the end of games? He would just get on the ground and just kind of squirm away. Yeah. He, he would Slowly. burrow. He'd burrow under the under the court, and mm-hmm. then you'd, you'd dig through the court, and yeah. you'd split him in half, and there'd be two Dennis Rodmans. I stepped on a worm today. I felt Did really you? bad about it. I didn't know it, and I came back later, and it, there was just like a little half smushed. <laughs> and the other half was still trying to make it work. Just you know? screaming at me. Ah! <laughs> Um, I always feel bad for the worms that venture out onto the pavement in the middle mm-hmm. of the sun. And it's just like a 90, 95 degree day. It's I like, have a heart for those worms. I usually, um, I'll pick them up and I'll take them to my compost. Hmm. Throw them in there. They're really good. They're good for that. They are good. Turn the dirt for you. Turn the dirt. But thank you, Johnny. Thank you, Johnny. I don't know what was said. Yeah. I appreciate those kind words you said. It was very poetic. It was. Um, very Charles Dickens-esque. Mm-hmm. You know, um, some might say um, Robert Frost. Somebody might say it was, Robert. It was Charles Dickens esque. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, somebody, might, some might say it's a uh, very Robert Frost like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, or Doctor Seuss. You know. Mm-hmm. Any others? You know. Any other poets? Um, Dennis Rodman. Yes. Hmm. Um. Um. E. E. Cummings. You know some hey man, you know hey. some ee. Hey dude, you, you don't have you E-E? don't have to be rude. All right, you know some Sylvia Platt. I don't know a lot of. Uh, Do you know? Have you ever heard of her? I have heard of Sylvia mm. Platt. Um, I cannot name a a, a piece of work by mm. her, but I have heard the name. She's a piece of work though. Is she? Was. Was she? She put her head in a <clears throat> oh real quick, uh, real quick oven to kill herself. This is the Sylvia Platt hour. We're transitioning. Oh okay. Speaking of an hour. Yeah, we're done. Um, see, ya. <laughs> see you later. Thanks for uh, checking in for episode, what is it, 34? Um, I think we're on 34. This is 34. I think it's 34. Well, anyway, thanks for checking in this week for Jumbled. Um, you can find us on uh, social media, mm-hmm. all social media, at Jumbled Podcast. All social media. Every social media. We're not on Musical.ly. We're not on... Uh, what you know of? <laughs> Joe's just been doing Musical.ly, mm-hmm. reaching out to all the uh, 12 and 13-year-olds. Oh, that's what I do uh, <laughs> just, just get on there and yeah. sing. Oh, wow, man. How are we doing on Musical.ly? Not good. <laughs> <laughs> We're on... Uh, or you can send us any emails, questions, concerns. Actually, if you got concerns, like we said yeah. before, keep it to yourself. If you need us to audit your books, we do taxes. <laughs> Uh, I know a guy, and uh, or you can just go to hrblock.com slash jumbled, mm-hmm. and you'll probably get a message that says it's a uh, this is an error. Yeah, it's a four hundred four. And that's the bottom right hand corner and play that little game there. <laughs> uh-huh. um, uh huh. Um, we are on Google stools. Play Music. We're on stools. Mm-hmm. We're on Google Play Music Player.fm. 
Uh, we're on Stitcher, and actually, uh, let's see here. I have some Stitcher copy. You have some Stitcher copy? Yeah. Let's see here. What's one of the copy, one of the moments I could do, or things I could do here? In over 4 million car dashboards. Oh. Wow. Stitcher is an award-winning free app that lets you listen to all your favorite shows, plus discover from 20,000 news, entertainment, and sports shows. Don't have Stitcher? Download it free today at Stitcher.com or in the App Store. Man, dude, you're doing you're you're wasting your time here at Jumbled. Stream your favorite podcasts. No downloading, no syncing, no wasted memory. How, how does that work? No downloading or syncing? Mm-hmm. Stream it, it. You stream it all. It's just it's yeah. the same thing. It's the same. Gosh, Stitcher. But thank you, Stitcher, <laughs> for for letting us on board. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're there. We're on iTunes. Mm-hmm. Head on over, rate and review, uh, and subscribe. Um, and if I didn't say it, we're on Google Play Music. Don't know what I said anymore. Yeah. Talk for too long. Anyway, we're out of here, guys. But we'll see you next week for another episode of Jumbled, your favorite podcast. You left a word out there. You're supposed to say about. Do you, or do I say about? Oh, I, I thought Try you said. Again. Uh, we'll see you next week for another episode of Jumbled, your favorite podcast about. I'm supposed to say about. God, what do you want from me, dude? Okay, let's do it again. We'll see you next week for another episode of Jumbled, your favorite podcast. No, it's not me. About nothing, guys. <laughs> We'll see you.